Once you've selected an autofocus mode to use on the Nikon D80, there's still another decision to be made. You also have to tell the camera which area of the frame you want the camera to focus on. For example, in this shot, do we want the camera to focus here, here, or just let it decide automatically which is best? The part of the frame that the camera focuses on is called the active autofocus area. There are 11 autofocus areas on the D80, and the active one can be selected either automatically by the camera or manually by you. Whatever is behind the active focus area is what the camera is going to focus on. There are three options for autofocus area mode on the D80, but you've got to go into the menus in order to make your selection. There is no external button on the camera body for setting the autofocus area mode. First, press the menu button. Go to the custom setting menu page, then go to menu number two, autofocus area mode, and select it. Here are the three choices. Single area offers the most precise control, and this is the mode that I recommend you use 100% of the time. With this mode, the camera will focus on the part of the picture that is directly behind whichever one of the 11 focus areas that you highlight with the arrow buttons on the multi-selector. I like it because it gives me exact control over which part of the frame I want to be in focus. You can think of it as crosshairs in a gun sight. I put the focus area mark over the target and the camera will focus on it. It's that simple. The second option, dynamic area, works sort of like single area, but it isn't as precise. You get to choose the primary focus area, but if the subject moves out of that area, the camera shifts the focus to try and follow the subject. I don't recommend using it because you're relying too much on the camera to decide what to focus on. The final option, auto area autofocus, means that the camera will simply decide all on its own what to focus on, and you won't really have any say in the matter at all. Usually the selected focus point will be whatever object the camera detects is closest to the lens. So as you can guess, I'm strongly opposed to using this mode unless you're just shooting snapshots. In either of the first two modes, you can change the active focus area anytime by making sure the focus selector lock is in this position, and then using the arrow buttons to highlight a different focus area with the multi-selector. This information is shown in the viewfinder and on the control panel. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.